My name is Iman Shu Jain. I am the president Asia Pacific for Diversity, which is a global cleaning, hygiene, sanitation company. What I see in the rest of the world is that this movement to new technologies and acceptance is much higher. Let me give you an example. 10, 15 years back, knee surgeries, use of stents, drug eluting stents, change of body parts, liver transplants, organ transplants, were far fewer in the country. Adoption of new techniques for treating patients are coming very rapidly, but the change in the hygiene protocol and a very critical part of healthcare is much, much slower. We still use the same chemistry, the same methods which we used 50 years back. And that's, it's not a surprise for me that the first superbug in the world is named after New Delhi because we our approach to hospital acquired infection has to undergo several generations of change, not just one. Yeah. Hospital acquired infection, the number one problem we have is we do not have a standardized uniform way of measuring and calibrating it. In many parts of the world, it's mandatory to publish for the hospital, uh, hospital acquired uh, infection rate. They are required to follow a certain protocol which should be verifiable, which should be measured in a common standard way and we don't have that. The hospital hygiene has moved many notches up. For example, uh, you know, moving away from the chlorine, which has been the main mainstay of uh, disinfection for many years, the new technologies have moved to accelerated hydrogen peroxide. A chlorine gives you dioxins, environmental damages, slow to act. Uh, difficult to vet, very high consumption, harms the patient. To an accelerated hydrogen peroxide which kills in less than a minute, can kill the worst of germs in the world, very easy to use and uh, the components after disinfection are water and oxygen. So from that perspective we have come an absolutely long way but the adoption is very slow, very slow. Diversity started in late 90s as a part of Unilever in India and in 2002 it became an independent company with S.C. Johnson family of the, uh, in uh, US uh, to, with Johnson Wax to become Johnson Diversity. 2011 it got acquired by Sealed Air and we were a part of the Sealed Air as one of the divisions. And now effective 2017 September, we are once again an independent company owned by Bain Capital uh, Ventures globally. Diversity is in India has been benefited by a very high class of uh, the startup uh, time managers and a old um, you know, set of people who started this industry in India. We were the first people to bring mechanized cleaning to the country. We were possibly the first guys to bring, uh, um, uh, what should I say, a site planning activity and the outsourcing industry in the country. We kind of educated that. To bringing to a healthcare an approach of managing acquired infection beyond the uh, operation theater. Because we think everything happens in the operation theater. But if you look at the infections and the problems, they all arise outside much more than inside. Inside there's a doctor which is very careful, takes care of many things, all protocols are much better practiced. But the moment you step out, the nurse, the ward boy, the person who comes to clean the room, are they doing the th right thing? Is the bed sheet, are you washing it at the right place? Or are you using the same mop which comes from a high risk area to a low risk area? These are all things which impact the patient, tertiary patient care or secondary patient care, which leads to a patient going home with two extra infections than what he came up with, most of the time treated with antibiotics, which leads to superbug creation over time. So I think the answer is to really up the level of hygiene. Very simply put, it's easier to kill a bug 
outside the body than inside the body. We are pioneers in whatever we do. We are the only supplier in the industry which can give an end-to-end -end solution for all hygiene needs of any industry we deal with, including healthcare. And this includes farm. So, and if, you, if I want to give you a spectrum of how we impact, in the pharma industry, we are trying to replace solvents with aqueous cleaning to make it more environment friendly and much more safer. When you use a low boiling uh, petrochemical F, uh, solvents for cleaning, it causes a very high fire risk in the space and a personal safety risk for the people. And when you go to an aqueous cleaning, it takes the safety level to a very new level. And there are industries in the country using it. Two, this is one end, to uh, a sterile IPA or sterile uh, cleaning protocols for clean rooms, which are, you know, class 100 clean room is a very high level protocol when it comes to managing possibility of infections where you are packing uh, vaccines or biologics, things are in a very different level. That on the pharma side, on the healthcare side, we have an accelerated hydrogen peroxide solution called Oxivir being accepted and being used by many, many hospitals. But as I said, slow to adapt. We offer an ultraviolet disinfection of our operation theater and high critical areas to add to the current practice of fumigation. Fumigation doesn't reach everywhere. And fumigation doesn't kill all the germs all the time. So this is a secondary safety uh, procedure for the hospital to improve the level of sanitation and disinfection in high critical areas where an ultraviolet right uh, solution which we call Moonbeam can actually change the picture. So we bring the latest technologies anywhere in the world to India much before any of our competition has done anything like this. I talked of some of the solutions for healthcare. One is a um, uh, Moonbeam, which is a UV solution for high critical area secondary disinfection. Accelerated hydrogen peroxide in the form of oxidative TV, TV wipes, in the form of solution for cleaning and disinfecting all hard surface areas. Uh, laundry solution under Clax for hospital uh, linen which can actually disinfect and have a residual disinfection in the linen on which the patient touches, body touches and the wounds touch. Then uh, a complete food safe uh, protocol for the hospital food which is served to provide full food safety. Then a top down or a smart cleaning approach for minimizing the infection possibility, making sure that the tools and mops from low infection and high infection do not get mixed. They are they should be kept separated. So there's a protocol training and the whole method there. Mechanized cleaning at all levels, floor clear, floor uh, cleaning, fumigation. So we provide a complete range of solutions for end-to-end uh, -end hygienic hospital. What we call it is high-performing hygienic hospital which means hygiene is a must and the efficiency has to be the highest for the hospital to manage their cost effectiveness in the right manner. We will continue to create the market in the country. We are pioneers, as I said, our effort always is to bring the latest technologies, populate them, and most of our products are manufactured locally. So while we are a global company, 90% of our products are locally made and uh, you know, uh, sold. So what that does is that it gives us an extra edge over our competition when it comes to price competitiveness, speed of delivery, ability to adjust. We have a large R&D center already in which we are expanding. Uh, one of our global technical centers which develops the solutions for the globe is based in Mumbai, which is about 50 scientists working with it full time. So we have long-term plans for the country and India is a jewel in the diversity crown globally.